Hello, hi. <laughs> this is part two of the tandem read along for bridge. If you would like to see part one, I shall link it for you up here. Do go and check that out and then you can continue. Um, the reason for me breaking this up into two parts is because there's no space. I have no space on my phone. So I had to, to burn that and then take that off and now I need to burn I record day 6 and day 7 and then day 8 and day 9 um, and that will be the rest of this thing. Now here's the thing, today is the 3rd of October, it's day 9 of the read along and I'm two days behind uh, plus the recording, I'm not behind on the reading, I'm behind on the recording. So let's get into that shall we? <laughs> okay, so we know about Amber and we know about Tamishans, but now let me just clear something up that I mentioned. Uh, Amber is not like the high priestess or whatever, she's not involved in the club, she's like the exterminator. But she's a bit of a, of a, of a, of a ridicule herself because, you know, she's been doing the same thing that Bridget has been doing. Um, and she's managed to create spoilers, a hive mind called the Our Mind, um, that she's consciously aware of all the other Ambers. Um, but at this point, I feel that some of the Ambers are not all on board with her. They can communicate together mentally, um, and then she can choose who to take over, and she co-writes them. She doesn't. They don't switch, which is weird and interesting because I wonder how that's going to turn out to be. Oops. I came out to the back because there's so much noise. People decided to do... And I can still... I mean, it's like really close to the front of my house, so it's, it's louder even inside. And I'm right at the back of my yard. Hmm. Okay, so I've been forced to come inside because now the other neighbor is doing it. Because did everybody decide? Did I? Anyway. Anyway. It is what it is and I need to work around it. So we'll do that. Okay. <coughs> I'm sorry. I don't even know where I was. Yeah, okay. So I don't think that all of the Ambers are on board with Main Amber. Let's call her Main Amber. Um, but she's fascinating. She's very fascinating as well. Okay, and she's very creepy. Creepy old lady. Anyway, um, and Bridge doesn't want to listen. Bridge is just doing her own thing and going back and going back and going back. Um, um, I'm trying to keep the two sections separate, okay? <laughs> they may overlap because, like I said, I, I wasn't able to record Part six before reading part seven, so it is what it is. Uh, yeah, and 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 Dom has been in contact with somebody online, code name Black Owl Star blah blah. Um, but I know who it is. I feel I know who it is, and then. So, so, now, Bridge jumps, she's, uh, uh, ooh. She, yeah, they, they, double trying a meet up with this, this, this online person. And they are all together with the science girly, Tendai, um, and Dom is on her way to go meet this mysterious contact and la 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 and, and, and so on and so forth. Now, Bridge gets caught by an Amber. We have another Amber on the way to Dom. Guys, guys, I can't. I can't with this book. <laughs> anyway. Mm, at this point, what I'm trying to say is, it's okay if Bridge dies. I'm, you know, not attached to her that much. But if, 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 if Dom, if anything happens to my dear sweet Dom, I'm DNFing this, is what I'm saying. On to the questions for the day. <laughs> 
Okay, so the first question asks, how do you think imagination creates one's reality and is the two compatible at all? Now, my question is, imagination and reality are two different things. It's very okay to have imagination. It's very good. I feel sad for the people who actually suffer from where well, they don't have imagination. They can't, they can't imagine what they're reading when they read a book, for example. Um, but most people have imaginations. But now, if you allow your imagination to create your reality, yeah, where is the line between the two? Hmm? Uh, yeah, how do you distinguish? If you ask me, if you don't live in reality and you live in your imagination, then that's a, a very quick and very free one way ticket to an asylum. Then they also want to know, question two is, they want to know about a character called a rabbit, which we've known about and, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, but we, so, so really, okay. And we, and, and he's dead so far. <laughs> I don't think he is, but all evidence leads to the fact that he's dead. Um, but there's an indication. There's there's this an earlier thing that states that Rabbit gave the dream room to whoever, um, which I forgot about. So now they want to know what do we feel about Rabbit and his agenda. Now, um, I don't know. He's he's currently dead. I don't think he is dead. I don't think he remained dead. <laughs> um, so we need to find out. We'll find out soon. Um, uh, Dom has a murder board. Okay. One of those crime investigation things with the White Watson. Blah, 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 blah. So she's got a blank space called Sacramento there. So now she also thinks that might be connected to Rabbit in some way. So yeah, so I don't know. I don't know what his agenda is. I did forget when I originally answered these questions yesterday. Uh, with Debbie Fool, yeah. That um, that he gave the dream on. So, yeah, so that's sus. They're getting a lot of enemies, bad guys, on the list now. Um, we don't need more. So, I'm, I'm worried about Dom. I'm worried about Dom. Hmm. Okay, and then the challenge for um, day six was to encapsulate the book with music, with a song. Which song best describes the book for me? Uh, I'm not a music person. Um, I did put something up on TikTok. Um, I have to download the TikTok, which means it's the music. I'm not going to do that. It's just a bit of an effort. I don't have the space for that right now. <coughs> Pardon. Um, so... Uh, yeah, if you want to check it out, you can check it out. It is on TikTok, and all my social links are in the description box below. Yep. For part seven, we're continuing where we left off. Okay, so now Dom has met with Amber, one of the Ambers called Ambelin. And I'm not screaming, no, I knew it. And, and, and Bridge, unbeknownst to anybody else, because she's got a headache or whatever, and she's lying down. Even Caden, Caden... The other guy is doing his thing. He wants whatever. Anyway, um, she jumped, and she jumped to where she thinks she's gonna get a clue, or she has to lead, and and it turns out it's a trap. So another Amber has now got her, okay, and da 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 da. -da. My nerves, I'm telling you, my nerves. Okay, it's not okay, he preached eyes, it's not, it's not, but up for her, over Dom. So, <laughs> that closes that discussion now. This is very spoilery, but this is my review as well. So, you know, um, it is what it is. <laughs> Always, I'm making it, what, this is my review for this book. I'm making a video review, so that is what I'm telling you what's happening, okay? In case you want to know. So, uh, luckily she was on a boat and they blocked the exit, but they didn't block the whole boat. So, Bridge manages to escape into the water. Dom, in the meantime, has 
spoken da, 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 to this Amberlin and met in public and now da, 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 they, they, they've given things enough to trust each other for now. Um, but the conversation with Amberlin and Dom it makes me think that Amberlin is telling the truth and I don't, that's where I, I don't think, and I think she's not on board with all of the things. Maybe she is, but, but not on with everything, okay? Um, and she's given Dom a lot of information. Now Dom is bringing the, bringing, bringing, bringing Amblin back to the group. Um, but now, Bridge doesn't listen. She's not back. And they can hear her looking for her because Dom wants to speak to her, to Bridge. But Bridge goes and has herself further away. <laughs> and jumps again uh, to where she figured out a clue. She figured out a clue. And, and this is the one that makes the sense. So she's jumped there only to jump into the girly the the bridge that version of bridge that and amber already has so now she's stuck there and amber has a she's tied up to a chair and amber has a machine and amber is explaining what happens and it is you know la 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 la, la it is a thing now mm. at this point there's correlations between another book that i read um, a while ago, but I will talk about that later, okay, so, yeah, uh, so that's where we are now, of course, we also found out that Caden is hiding information, and we get more entries from Joe's diary, um, so there's a lot of information coming from a lot of different people in a lot of different directions, um, some of our suspicions are, mm, and some of my suspicions are not so good, you know, proven wrong. And then there are, are some revelations, so that's pretty cool. Which leads me to the questions of day seven. I guess so there's a passage in, in here that you can please, please read. Um, and then the question asks, reading this passage, what kind of feelings does it invoke? And so on and so forth. Now, what I can think about is that book that I was telling you about, Cold Storage by David Cope, I think. Um, I don't think I have a copy of it anymore. I may have, I may not have. I don't know. If I do have, I'll, I'll show you. Um, because they're talking about a parasite that infects an ant, or yeah, and I know fungus that does that, and an ant latches onto something and it spreads whatever gets eaten which then spreads it and then that then then it's on and so forth it does what it wants the host to do it spreads the, the fungus um and what happens in the people you, and in that book happens similar to what happens in the people in this book because now we're finding all the information and it's going to like alien it's going to it's going to literally eat you alive as a parasite and and they are literally laying the eggs inside you and they are literally coming out of you and then eventually it's just going to and it's going to make you want to infect other people by, by jumping okay so now we learned all this information oh so yeah so i'm just correlating between the two so the, the difference okay um the two stories are different so that's that's what i i mean it's like that's what i was speaking and then question two is i don't Oh yeah, it's, it says that many people are giving pieces of the puzzle. Remember, I, I said that earlier. And then Amber, the things that Amber was telling Dom, they want to know if this is, if Amber's version of the truth is the real truth. Now, I want to tell you that I've been suspecting some things like that. Um, so it's possibly true version but there's still there are still gaps there are still gaps and and Amberlynn could just be playing an angle um like all the ambers do because that's what they do they play the angle they hook the baits and then they eat the fish they kill it whatever you know 
harvest. Da, da, da. So I don't know what they're harvesting and, and they get rid of the bodies. I, I don't know. So, yeah. I don't know if this, if Ambulance version of the truth is the real truth. But as very close to what I'm suspecting is the real truth. So, yeah. So there's that. And then, of course, yay. Um, as per the Bible. And on the seventh day, he rested. So there's no challenge for day seven. We can take a break. Hey guys, let me tell you that this book has been my entire life. This this whole week. Okay, and I still have more content to make for it. Um because it's been content after content after content after content after content. And sometimes you have to take a gazillion photos. I know you know those of you who do these things too. Uh, for those of you who don't know. You don't know. You don't know. Um yeah, so there's that. I, again, can only record for another one minute and then I'm out of space. So I need to go and delete more stuff. And there's more people doing their lawn today. Okay, so on to day eight and I shall catch you later. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, the information is coming fast and quick. I love it. Oh, the pace is really quick. And... Okay, bye. <laughs> okay, so things are really hotting up and the pace has picked up and we're getting everything in short bursts and pieces and I love it. I am a huge fan of the short chapter because the more I, I keep, it doesn't matter. I'm a fan. Of a short chapter and this is now nice and short chapters we are seeing um uh, multiple points of view and we are seeing things from from different characters so they're like flashes and this is what i say this would actually make a really good movie because i can see it playing out in my head it's very cinematic and very atmospheric flashes from this point to this point to this point to this point we're even getting a, a, a look-see from the other Bridget, where, where, the one where Bridge travelled to. So, and there's gunshots, and, and there's things, and people are tied up, and people are getting drugged, and, and, you know, people are being, their arms are cut open, and Tom is in the building, and there's gunshots, and I can't, and I can't handle it. I can't handle it. If, if, if they, if something happens to them, I will not finish this book. Even, even, even. I will protest horribly. I will troll the author's site. I will troll the author's socials. No, I'm joking. I won't do that. Um, but yeah, shit is happening now. And it's really good. It's really good. Um, okay, and then we need to get on to the questions for today. Let's have a look. Uh, question number one. Oh, what did they ask? Hold on a sec. Let me let me see. Um. Oh, funnily enough, uh, <laughs> they they want to know about. They say that there's many quirky chapters in here with the quirky titles. Um, that Lawrence Beakers does it. They want to know. Um, which one was my favorite chapter? Now, I don't have a particular favorite. I am a fan of certain names, like these quirky names, but I am a fan of how, like, for example, Murder Wall with Dom, and again, again, again with Bridge, and, and, and with Dom. Colors from space, from outer space. Um, I like how the quirky title is associated with a character, and that from what you're reading, you can see what's happening with that character. Uh, uh, the quirky the titles also tie in with the personality of the person, so that's fantastic. Okay, and once you get to know the characters, you the the, the titles just, just they just make more sense. So that's what I'm a fan of, and again, I'm a fan of the short title. And then the second question is that they want to know how do we feel about all these little minor characters bringing in all the all these little pieces of information. Now that's 
Good, because me, I, I really enjoyed it because I don't think that any one person has all the answers. And if you do find that one person, you probably won't survive very long, right? So, you know, if you do an investigation, then that's basically how things do come out. Because you're speaking to a lot of different people to get all the different angles and perspectives and information that you can. So, that makes sense. But I also love how these minor characters are bringing in the information that the bridge needs and Dom needs is hmm? lol these minor characters are playing a bigger role by bringing in the information that they do so even though they're minor characters they are unforgettable characters most of them, because they play a vital role. So yeah, so that's where we are in the books of bar. And now for the challenge for chapter for day eight is to dress like your favorite character. Okay, that's Dom for me. Now I do not own anything that I think Dom would wear. Okay, nothing, nothing on the players that I think would wear. Um. But I think I am going to wear something. I'm going to, I'm going to wear lab coats in honor of the hot scientist love interest, flirty interest, whatever. Um, because I don't have anything else. So we'll see how that goes. And then I need to post it to my stories on my da 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 feed. Uh, with the book so oh and then again reintroduce ourselves so yay so there's a another meet the books grammar post coming up today i suppose mm. on to the last bit yeah also i had to go to the shops because you know i never feed my poor cat according to her so i had to go get her something <sighs> And of course, I got me a snack because my nerves. Because it's 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 gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. I don't want to tell you anything more because it's actually very spoilery. Um, I know I've been spoilery already, but I mean, if I tell you any more now, I mean, then there's no point in you reading the book. So yeah, it's exciting. I need I need energy. Bye. Hello again, hi. <laughs> so I finished Bridge by Lauren Beerkus and let me tell you, it's been a ride. Oh, okay, it's been a ride. Um, it's so good actually, and the pacing and the pacing in the beginning is, 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 is it makes sense because sometimes. You need to, there's not a lot of information to, to process, but you know, it's, it's, it, it takes a while if you, it doesn't actually take a while. It's fine, I was distracted. But the pacing is a bit slow. Um, not slow, some people might find it slow. It's, it's okay, because you know, you're hunting for the information. And then when the information does come in, then things start picking up again. Um, that makes sense. Um, I can totally see this as a movie, or as a TV show, not a movie, basically. Um, also, um, I read another book called Cold Storage by David Cope, K-O-E-P-P. -E um, I'll insert a graphic. I no longer have that book. I don't know. I think I sold it or borrowed it to somebody, whatever. Um, also. Um, you, if you read that one, you'll read this, there's, there's two similar things in here that will connect that book. Um, they're completely different, completely different. I'm just saying there are two similarities. Um, and I was getting, so that's, that's my, if you like this book, then you should read that book. Um, yeah, yeah, this was, this was actually better than I anticipated. My first Lauren Biggers novel, I haven't 
read anything from her before so i've been looking forward to that and and of course we have the pink cover except for the spine at must go under blue pink blue pink blue um the characters are fantastically they are very well written especially dumb and I think by consensus in the Discord group that we were chatting, I think by consensus Dom is our favorite character um, of this book. We all were on Dom's side. We were all on Dom's side. We didn't want them to suffer anything. That's that's our favorite of a character. They are they are to everyone. <laughs> And I'm rating this four stars because it was it was really it was really good. Um, for the sci-fi, it's great. Um, yeah, and for a thriller, it's great. For a mystery, it's great. Um, and it's contemporary, so it's in today's thingy. So that's fantastic. Now I need to go do the questions for day nine. I don't know what they are. Excuse me for a second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so question one is they want to know about the mother-daughter dynamic. Did how did we find the relationship? How did we did we think it was? You know, how, how what did we feel about it? Now I have to tell you, and again it's gonna be more spoilery, but um I think the mother-daughter relationship as a whole would be toxic. Joe is Joe wants what Joe wants. And 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 Joe is is morally grey when it comes to certain consequences. Okay. But 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 Bridge on the other hand, she has her own life and she wants to do her own thing and she chooses Dom. We all choose Dom. So she wants to stay in her own reality. Um and go on from there. So yeah, I I I, I think the differences between the mom and the daughter was portrayed quite well. I don't think the relationship as a whole is healthy. Um and I'm happy that they decided to go different ways and not be family again or you know what I mean. So that's that's good. Um Joe uh Bridge did get some closure with some of the stuff in the past from my mom, so that's also okay. The second question ah uh, the classic shave my head because I'm a new me symbolism in 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 books and movies okay so question two wants to know is like bridge shapes ahead as a symbol of a new start yada 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 are we convinced that she's not going to be doing the dream room again girls please guys come on bridge mm, she was swallowing that stuff and she wanted to live all of it and you know the last bit in the book will tell you I think she might calm down a bit, but I don't think she's going to stop. I don't think she'll be as bad as what she was, but I don't think she'll stop. So, yeah. So now the challenge for day nine is to record a review for TikTok. Which needs to be this way. So, I shall do that. Now... And I am done with Bridge by Lauren Beckers. Thank you so much to Tandem Collective for organizing and hosting. And thank you to Exclusive Books for partnering and sending us a book. These are distributed by Penguin Random House of Africa. So thank you to them too. I want to thank my fellow reader longest. There were 29 other people doing this. And we were all on Discord and that was great. Um, this is my second... Tandem Collective Read Along. The first one was also a huge amount of fun. I feel that this time around the challenges may have been a little bit little bit more difficult. But 
they were cool they were awesome the discord i'm not actually a fan of forums but it's great seeing other people's views and how they feel so bridge is a sci-fi thriller crossover with you know a little bit of slash of horror thrown in it's not a lot of horror it's just the horror vibes um and bridge loses her mom was a scientist to cancer but um, some memories now come, start surfacing and she wonders if her mum was talking the truth because the therapist always thought that she was making things up. Okay, so they find something going to her mum's house and da -da -da, at least do all sorts of things. We're talking about multiple realities, we're talking about body swapping, we are talking about... Ooh, people being harvested. Okay, guys, this is really good. Please, I'm giving it four stars, and I have a video up, and I will have a second video up on YouTube talking about all of this. So do go check it out. I just want to thank Tandem Collective Global for doing what they do. They, they are doing some amazing work in the book community. Do go check them out. Um, I have linked all the links down below uh, for you to go check out. I also want to thank Exclusive Books. They said they're in partnership in this read along with Tandem and they sent me the book and everybody else as far as I'm aware. Um, so thank you for that. And Penguin Random House South Africa is the distributor of Bridge. So if you're looking for a copy, you can go check out Exclusive Books. They'll definitely sort you out. If not, there are other shops you can check out, like Bargain Books and Wordsworth Books. Do check them out. Otherwise, do pop them an email at Penguin Random House, and they will lead you in the right direction. I also want to thank my fellow read-alongers, because it's so fun seeing everybody else's thoughts and 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 what they feel with the book and how we were all feeling the same thing about certain things and how we were all feeling differently about others it was it was really good um this is my second um tandem collective read along um and i feel that the challenges this time around are much harder <laughs> But that's that's only for me. Um, I'm not the meme generation, so you know I don't I don't I don't think in memes and speak in memes and etc etc. So there's a lot of TikToks that I can't do because I don't understand those. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, and funnily enough, I've been invited to the Jonathan Ball Publishers Book Talk event. So. Yeah. I'm not too bad. I do most of my TikToks outside of, outside of the app. Anyway, um, I'll probably cut that out. Anyway, or not. I don't know. So yes, thank you to everybody involved in this. It was awesome. I'm looking forward to another one. Um, that was the third tandem read along this year in, in, in going on. There was Ride with me. It's about a memoir. And then a Psychist memoir, and then the one I did bridge, and then there was another one that they're busy still currently with. I think it's also a memoir slash something. Um, yeah, so Tandem Collective, do go check them out. Um, fantastic work. And for me, and it's Cape Town, it's the middle, this is the second month of, 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 of spring, and it's still cold. So, yeah. Bye! <laughs>